Greetings again, everyone. So we are here again, continuing with our forecasting lecture series, and we're looking now at weighted moving average. So for weighted moving average, we it's similar to the simple moving average, but here we're giving some weights. Right, the weights, we're going to multiply those weights by the actual values from the previous months, total them, then divide by the sum of the weights. Importantly, we're going to multiply the highest weight by the most recent period. So if it's months, the highest weight is multiplied by the most recent month. The second highest weight is multiplied by the second most recent month. And the third highest weight multiplied by the third most recent month and so forth and so forth. Then we divide by the sum of weights. So it's important that we calculate the sum of weights. And remember the important note that we cannot use the actual result for any period to forecast the same period. If we are forecasting October 2021, we must use months before. We use the past to forecast the future. So we have to use months before October to do the forecast for October. All right, here goes. So we're going to do a three-month weighted moving average forecast using the weights 3, 2, and 1. The first thing we need is the sum of the weights. Remember, add up the weights. Now, there are some people who make the mistake of always using 6 as their sum of weights. Not so. This total is 6 because 3 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, the first thing we do is add up the weights. And now we have sum of weights is equal to 6. Then we know. We move forward. We want a 3-month weighted moving average. So, we need the 3 previous months. Right? We use the past to forecast the future. So, we can't do a forecast for January because we do not have three previous months. Similarly for February and March. The first month that we're able to do a forecast for is April because we have January, February, and March as the three previous months. So here goes. The highest weight is three. So we're going to multiply three by the most recent month. So we're going to multiply three by 14. Remember, highest weight multiplied by the most recent period. Then the second highest weight is 2. So we multiply that by the second most recent period, which is February. So we have plus 2 times 12. Then the lowest weight is multiplied by the furthest month. So the third weight is 1. We multiply by the third most recent month, which is January. So we have plus 1 times 10. We're going to add those up and we're going to divide by the sum of the weights, which is 6. So, when we add those up, we get 76 divided by 6, giving a forecast of 12.674 April. So, here we have April, and we're moving on now to May. So, highest weight is 3, multiplied by the most recent month, April. So, 3 times 10, plus 2 times 14, plus 1 times 12, divided by the sum of the weights, which is 6. That gives us 70 divided by 6, or 11.67 as our forecast for May. Moving on to June. Highest weight is 3. That multiplied by the 14 for April. So 3 times 14. Plus second highest weight is 2 multiplied by the second furthest month which is April. So 2 times 10. Plus the third highest weight 1 multiplied by the third furthest month which is March. So 1 times 14. That gives us 76 divided by the sum of the weights 6. Or 12.67 as a forecast for June. Moving on to July. We have 3 times 13 plus 2 times 14 plus 1 times 10 for April divided by 6. That gives us a forecast of 12.83 for July. Moving on to August. So 3 highest weight multiplied by the 12 for July. 3 times 12 plus second highest weight is 2. 2 multiplied by the second furthest month, which is June, 2 times 13, plus third highest weight is 1. So 1 is going to be multiplied by the third furthest month. Third highest weight times the third furthest month, which is 1 times 14. Divide by 6, that gives us 76 over 6, or 12.67 as the forecast for August. Then we move on to September. September, 3 times 10, the most recent month. Plus 2 times the second most recent month, 12. Plus 1 times the third most recent month, 13. That gives us 11.17 as the forecast for September. 
And this would be our three month weighted moving average using the weights three, two, and one. Let's do another one. This time we're going to use the weights 12, 6, and 2. So of course, you see that the sum of the weights in this case will not be 6. The sum of the weights will be 12 plus 6 plus 2. 12 plus 6, 18 plus 2, 20. So our sum of weights for this example is 20. Let's push through. So it's a three-month weighted moving average. So we need the three previous months. Remember, we use the past to forecast the future. So three most recent months. First month that we can do is March. It's April, sorry. Because we have the three reset months. So the highest weight is 12. That's going to be multiplied by the most recent month, March. So we have 12 times 14. Plus, second highest weight is 6. That's going to be multiplied by the second most recent month, which is February. So we have 6 times 12. Plus, the third highest weight is 2. Multiplied by the third furthest month, which is January. So we have 2 times 10. And then we divide by the sum of the weights, which is 20. That gives us a forecast of 13 for April. Move on to May. Highest weight, 12, multiplied by 10. Second highest weight, 6, multiplied by 14. Third highest weight, 2, multiplied by 12. Divided by the sum of the weights, 20, gives us a forecast of 11.4 for May. Move on to June. The Highest weight is 12. 12 is multiplied by 14. Plus, second highest weight, 6 multiplied by 10. Third highest weight, 2 multiplied by 14 divided by 20. That gives us 12.8 as a forecast for June. Move on to July. 12 times 13 plus 6 times 14 plus 2 times 10. That gives us a forecast of 13 for July. Move on to August. We have 12 times 12. <laughs> plus 6 times 13 plus 2 times 14 divided by 20 giving us a forecast of 12.5 for August and then last but not least we have September so the highest weight 12 multiplied by 10 for August plus 6 multiplied by 12 for July plus 2 multiplied by 13 for June divided by 20 giving us a forecast of 10.9 for September so here we have our three month moving weighted moving average using the weights 12, 6, and 2, where the sum of weights is equal to 20. All right, so that's it for this forecast. We're going to move on next to simple exponential smoothing. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. All the best and see you soon.